I'm the portfolio manager, trader, and today I will be your host as always. Today I want to focus specifically on the uh, the nature of automated trading that we enabled at Beatsgap. So basically, I will explain to you briefly what are the techniques that we use to generate returns on a daily basis regardless of the market trend. Today is going to be the first time when I will explain and show you some high yield strategies which is basically the one that brings the the highest possible return when uh, properly configured in Beatscap automated boards as well as the low risk strategies which are quite conservative but still bring decent returns on a daily basis. Before we start, I want to inform you that Beatscap is participating in the Binance Spring Tournament. So you can join the team either just going here on the uh, tournament page and type in the uh, Beatscap or there is also an email notification that you should have received as well as on the login page at Beatscap, there is a notification about the tournament. So the idea here is that together as a team, we can win the the share, like the stake of the uh, prize pool of worth $1.5 million. And there are also individual rewards. So it really makes sense to uh, participate especially taking into account that two months ago we enabled Binance futures trading so you can initiate futures positions on the Bitscap platform straight away. So let's continue with today's agenda and we will start with the nature of automated trading that we have at Bitscap. And for that I have prepared this page for you. So the idea that we have at Bitscap is that there is a trading range within which the uh, automated board is going to execute trades for you and you can have this trading range from the... So it looks like this. You have the lower limit price, which is basically the bottom point, and the upper limit price, which is basically the... Uh, highest sell order within your trading range and the idea here is that you can see the price moving in any direction for example if the price from the current point goes higher to that point let's say it will execute these two sell limit orders so we will we'll cash out from the market and a portion of this cash out will be used to allocate new buy orders. So that's the picture that you will see. Let's assume that the price moves higher even to that point. So you see it executed another sell order. So what's going to happen is that you will see a new limit buy order right below the price. If the price from that point falls, you see it executes three buy limit orders and the system will allocate new sell orders right above the current price. So that's a never lasting process of trading as far as the price stays within our boundaries. It stays within the trading range which is defined by the lower limit price and the upper limit price. And there are some tricks and tips on how you can maximize your returns if, let's say, the price goes above your upper limit price, which is the feature known as the trading up. All right. But this is something that we will I will explain to you in 20 minutes. So stay with me. The point here is that how to define the trading range and what are the strategies that we have at Beatscap 
to take the the like the highest return from the market depending on the trend formation so what you have to know is that basically there are four market phases which is the accumulation advancing distribution and the one that we never want to take part in is the declining market so each time you spot the accumulation phase on the market before the rally and the distribution phase which usually occurs after the rally then traders uh, lock in returns so they are basically selling what they earned during the advancing period and after this distribution period what you can see is that either the price goes higher basically enters the second advancing mode or it goes lower because there is a lack of buying pressure on the market so the market is going to enter the declining mode so that's something that we want, don't want to say that's something that we don't want to take part in so that's why there are three phases for us that we are interested in and for each of these phases there is a strategy that we have at this gap so for the accumulation phase and for the distribution phase what is typical is that the price swings sideways you see it swings from the horizontal support and horizontal resistance line same in the distribution phase so for this market formation we have the strategy known as the s bot so let me switch to the demo mode where i have my virtual money to experiment with and to demonstrate you many trades so for this one you will stick with the s bot strategy because this strategy is designed to take the most out of the market during the sideways movement so basically when the price moves horizontally within the horizontal support and horizontal resistance lines so that's the best one to implement whereas if you anticipate the market to enter the advancing mode or the market is already in the advancing phase then stick with the classic bot strategy because this strategy is optimal for the rising market when you see the movement like this so why so the the point here is that in the way that in the way how the classic board distributes your investments compared with the s board so in the classic board the board always buys and sells the same amount of the base currency in this case you see i have npxs trading to usdt so in that occasion the base currency is npxs all right the point here is that whenever the price goes higher that means in order to buy the same amount of crypto that you used to buy then the price traded lower you now have to spend more money so that's why when the price rises your risk exposure increases all right well whereas in case of the s bot it buys and sells crypto depending on the market price so for example when the it basically spends the same investment per each limit buy or limit sell level which also known as greed levels so that these things that i demonstrated to you here is the greed level these are greed sell orders and these are greed, uh, greed buy orders in this case and in the s boat strategy and actually i have one active strategy over here to demonstrate we go to open orders so you see the amount is different depending on the price and if the price is higher then it's going to buy less of the crypto of the base currency in this case and if the price is lower it's going to buy more of the base currency if you multiply the amount by the price you will find that the investment per each grid level is always the same in the s bot 
Whereas in case of the classic bot, you will find that it always sells and buys absolutely the same amount of the base currency, regardless of the price. So if you multiply the amount by the price, you will find out that the investment per each grid level in the classic board is different. So that's why when the price in the classic board, when the price is rising, then you remember that it buys the same, like the constant value. And that means that your risk exposure increases because the higher, like the, the more expensive is the crypto, the more investment is required to maintain the same level of, of of purchase so that's why when you anticipate the market to rally when you anticipate the, the the market to enter the advancing mode or you identify that you are already in the advancing mode then sticking with the classic bot will bring you higher returns because your risk exposure with the rising price increases respectively so that's the point so what we learned now is that the first thing to do is to identify the market phase. And only after that, you decide which strategy to stick with. Once again, as bought is for the sideways market formation when the price moves like this. And the classic board is the one optimal for the market rally to, to take most out of the price action. Okay. So now, let's assume that we decided to trade NPXS to USDT. And based on our sound research, based on our, let's say, fundamental and technical analysis, and there are quite many tools that you can use to conduct the proper technical analysis. So you can, for example, uh, trade with Fibonacci levels, Maybe you are the one who prefers to recognize patterns on the market, like triangle symmetrical bottom, and there are actually quite many patterns on the market, which provide you with perfect entry and exit points. Or you be you can be the one who sticks with the indicators like moving average, Arun, MACD, RSI. So it's clearly up to you what are the methods that you apply to conduct the technical analysis to find your perfect entry and exit prices. Um, okay, so let's assume that you've made your sound research and you expect the market to move like this from from current point. So you expect that BNB, no, sorry, that's NPXS, that NPXS right now is in the distribution mode. So you know that in the distribution mode, you stick with the s bot strategy. So now you need to uh, set the upper price and lower price, which will define your trading range within which the bot is going to trade. So, as a rule of thumb, you can stick with your upper price, which corresponds to the, let's say, the resistance line. And you can have your lower price exactly at the price level where you see the uh, closest support line. Okay, so here it is. So this can be in a possible trading range. If you think that this trading range is highly risky, and why it's risky? Because you see your red area is around 70% compared with your green area. So that means that at the time you launch the bot, your initial exposure to the market is already 70%. Because in order to plot all of these sell limit orders, you must possess 70% of your total investment. You see, here is the exact distribution. Like you have to have uh, 500 NPXS in order to launch the bot. And this 500 NPXS is approximately around $1,000, all right? So that's already your initial risk exposure. If you don't want to enter the market with this high risk exposure, then just move your upper price lower. And by that, you reduce your uh, exposure to the base currency. You see, now it's not 500. Now it's 377,000 NPXS, which is around, if you, if you deduct it, then it's going to be around uh, $850 instead of the, the, the initial risk exposure that we had. 
So by manipulating the upper price and low, like basically by dragging the upper price higher, you increase the risk exposure because you now see more uh, sell limit orders. Whereas by moving your lower price lower, you increase the amount of buy limit orders. So that's why you need more of the quote currency to make sure that the board is able to buy, like to execute all of these limit buy orders. All right, okay, so that's the point. And let's assume that I'm gonna trade from that point to, to that point. The next step is basically to set the amount of grid levels. So grid levels, they stand for limit buy and limit sell orders. So right now I have 41 grid levels. I can have, let's say, 20 grid levels. You see I have now fewer limit orders. But since I have fewer limit orders, this increases my grid step. Basically, the grid step stands for the uh, marginal profit. So that's basically the, the distance between your buy and sell order. And also, what you have to remember is that the fee is taken into account this calculation. All right. So we are basically uh, the platform which calculates fees for you. So the profit that you see in this column, which is, for example, ING trading to Bitcoin, you see profit 1729 is already net of all fees. And if I take a sharp look at my details, and you will see that in field orders, I have my fees calculated. See, the profit here is net of all fees. So that's the cool thing about beads gap is that the bot profit that you see here is already net. All right, so it's netted. Basically, that's the pure profit which goes directly to your balance. All right. So the more grid levels you put, let's say 60, the narrow is your grid step in this case. So basically, the lower is your uh, marginal return and basically that stands once again for the distance between your limit buy and limit sell orders the more grid levels you put the higher frequency rate you achieve whereas the fewer grid levels means that you increase the marginal return from each trade so it's it's clearly up to you to decide how many grid levels you want to have Maybe um, you just want to make it simple and let's say you always want to make sure that you have this 1% from the market. So this in this case is going to be 50 grid levels for this trading setup. If you want to have 2% from each trade, then that's going to be 25 grid levels. Okay, so that's once again clearly up to you. So once you decided the amount of grid levels that you want to have, you must make sure that you have enough of the money to launch the boss. Let's say I want to allocate 200. Is it enough to launch the bot with current settings of 25 grid levels? You say it's clearly not enough because you must have 436 to launch the bot. You can either adjust the grid quantity just by clicking on this button over here. If you want to stick with the initial investment of 200, then in order to launch the bot with 200 USDT that you have to mass, you must have 11 grid levels. That's the maximum that you can afford for the investment worth 200. Whereas if you increase the allocation, let's say to 500, and of course you can increase the amount of grid levels. Let's see how many we can afford. 28 is the maximum for the 500 USDT. So that's uh, the way how you can adjust your investment and how you can adjust the grid quantity, all right? So you have to always play with the investment, the grid step, and the grid level. Basically, that's it. All right. So once again, what we learned is that there is a market phase. Once you identify the market phase, you select the uh, strategy for this market phase. The next step is to define the trading range within which you want the board to trade on your behalf. And then is the time to make the investment allocation based on the some that you can afford to invest and the uh, grid step percentage preference that you want to have okay
And the, the final step is to apply uh, other tools that we have to maximize your returns and to limit your risk in case if the market goes in the opposite direction as you expected. So the rule of thumb here is to use the stop loss. You see, once I click on stop loss, it appears below the trading range, which I can drag as well. You see? So if the price falls to that point, I mean, if the price breaches the uh, lower limit price, then the maximum loss is going to be at that point where you see the stop loss. So if the price falls, it, br it breaches the lower price and falls even lower down to the point where we have the stop loss. This is the, uh, the point where the bot will sell all of the base currency and close all the trades. Okay, so that's the one you have to stick with. Basically, that's the recommendation. Always make sure that you have the stop loss because you can never be 100% uh, sure that the market will move in the direction that you predicted. Sometimes, even if you made the sound research and it feels like odds are in your favor, the market can still go in the wrong direction. And for this occasion, make sure that you have a limited risk exposure. All right. Because otherwise, without the stop loss, you can lose even more. Another tool that we have is the trading app, which I already mentioned. And this tool allows you to, um, to um, basically to follow the market rally. So if the price goes higher and it breaches the upper price over here and goes even higher, when you have the trailing up enabled, Basically, your trading range will follow the rally. So it will drag all of your limit orders higher. So basically, all your orders, they are following the market. Whereas, if you have enabled the trading up, basically, it's not on. Then, in this case, if the price breaches the upper price and goes higher, then you're just going to miss this rally and you're just gonna stick with your uh, orders in this area and that's it and here's the perfect example that i have it's cardano trading to use you see the one that i launched so long ago you see this was my trading range and the board was trading on my behalf as far as the price remained within the boundaries but as soon as the price breached the uh, upper price you see no trading then the price came back and you see the price action over here it again breached the upper price and never actually returned back so that's why you see this long-term rally which unfortunately due to the fact that i didn't have the trading up enabled i just missed this rally okay so by today if i had my trading up enabled I would make significantly more, like maybe 200% for sure, okay? So always make sure that you have the training up enabled if you want to follow the rally automatically, okay? And basically when you have your training up enabled, you don't have to monitor the market every single day. It just requires you to see the bot performance twice a week uh, because if it breaches the upper price uh, it will just follow the rally automatically okay and you will be overwhelmingly surprised when next time you open the chart and see that oh that's great the the bot breached the i mean the price breached the upper price but since i have my trading up on it continued trading for me and it started to follow the rally, which is perfect, which is something that I want to, uh, to have when I'm away from my laptop. In case if the price goes higher, I want my bot to follow the rally. 
that's why we have trading up okay and of course the take profit that's the one we have to uh, to realize your returns okay so the point here is that if you want to achieve a certain milestone in terms of uh, investment then for example your benchmark for each trade is let's say 20 20 percent of the return so as far as the as far as the market reaches the let's say 20 percent which which stands for the change that's the investment change over here so as soon as the investment change of your strategy reaches 20 percent it will automatically close the bot so it will just sell all of the base currency and that's it it just realizes your returns okay so for this one let's say ing to bits bdc my current investment change is 130. so let's assume that i want to close the board when it reaches uh, 250 percent so as soon as it reaches 250 percent it will automatically sell all of the ing that i have in this strategy okay so yeah by the way uh, each time you launch the bot your risk exposure changes as the price fluctuates so you can you can see let's say in in this example where i have ren trading to bitcoin that my current risk exposure to base currency which is ren in this strategy is exactly 265 rents that's my risk exposure right now it can be that the price falls and of course my buy limit orders will add more to my risk exposure okay whereas when the price moves higher it executes sell orders and it basically reduces the amount of the base currency to which i'm exposed so that's why you always you will always say that this uh, value fluctuate i mean it's it's flexible it, it's never constant because the the price swings and that means that the board is always buying or selling so that's the never lasting process of trading and that's why the, the like the, the quote exposure and the base currency exposure is always changing okay so that's something you have to remember and that's why at the time like maybe let's choose a random strategy like this one so let's say you have your trading range like this you have more sell orders that means your risk exposure is already like at the, at the very time at the, at the start your initial exposure is already around 80 percent here so that's always something you have to remember because if you launch the bot with this configuration where you have 80 percent of the risk exposure at the start and, and if the price falls instead of going higher then you end up with uh, big losses in this case so always make sure that you have an adequate risk exposure you have the stop loss in case the market falls and the uh, sell area is adequate enough to comply with your risk management principles so for example your risk principle can be that let's say you never enter the strategy which has the initial risk exposure of more than uh, 60 percent all right so for example you never enter the configuration which has uh, so many grid cells which is in this case around 80 percent instead like the maximum that you can afford in accordance with your risk management principles is let's say 60 percent which is going to be like this okay so you can actually write down your risk principles to always follow to, to follow you know and this will significantly boost your trading performance because trading is not just about uh being right about the direction it's it's more about the risk management it's more about the gradual performance it's more about like the gradual profit generation 
and the more risk management tools you apply, the higher are the odds of success in this case for you. So, um, this, like, yeah, actually, I wanted to demonstrate the high yield strategies that I prepared for you. So, that's once again a brand new topic. That's the first time in this webinar when you hear this kind of strategy, which is a high yield strategy. And this all about having a double risk exposure to the market. So for example, easy trading to Ethereum. So in this cryptocurrency pair, you are exposed both to Ethereum price and to the value change of easy. Okay, so these are two cryptos that are volatile. So trading easy to Ethereum, you generate returns in Ethereum. Okay, because bot always accumulates returns in the cold currency, which calls the second. And that's in this case Ethereum. So for example, you see ING trading to Bitcoin, the bot profit is in Bitcoins here. ING trading to USDT, the bot profit is in the USDT in this case. So in this case, easy trading to Ethereum, my bot profit is going to be realized in Ethereum. So like the perfect scenario that I want to see in order to achieve maximum possible uh, return in BitCap automated trading is that both easy and Ethereum appreciate. So I want to see this crypto going higher. And on this rally, it's going to generate returns in Ethereum, right? And at the same time, I want to see my Ethereum, which is trading to USDT, to appreciate simultaneously. So this will bring me more returns in USDT by the end. And that's why it is the high yield strategy, because your risk exposure is 2x. So you are basically exposed to the volatility of two currencies, which is easy and Ethereum. If the value of easy relative to Ethereum falls, let's make it red. And at the same time, the value of Ethereum relative to USDT falls, your um, risk multiplier here is 2x. So you basically are losing twice more. All right, so that's the price you have to pay in order to have this opportunity to generate 2x returns. Okay, so that's why that's the high yield uh, strategy, but at the same time, a high risk strategy. It's always a trade off between the risk and the uh, return that you can generate. The higher is the risk, the more returns you can make. So the same rule applies to automated trading and make sure that once again, in these strategies, you have the stop loss and other tools that we have to maximize and limit your risk. Sorry, to maximize your returns and to, to limit the risk. So for example, where is this easy trading to? It's the Binance actually. And by the way, you can trade just with me all together. We can do this right now. Since I'm trading on the demo mode where you have virtual money, it's absolutely risk-free for you to, to copy the trades that I make right now just to just to practice if, that, if that's the first time you encountered automated trading. You just can blindly follow me. I mean, not blindly because I explain all the things that I do. But yeah, it's, the practice is the, is the best tool for you to to get experience the, uh, the the fastest way okay so that's easy trading to ethereum okay so it looks like it's gonna go higher because you say it establishes new lower highs and also new higher highs you see higher high higher high higher high so it's gonna go higher so 
you can bet that it's going to continue the rally so you're going to stick with the classic bot here you can set your lower price let's say to that point where you had the previous support and you can have your upper price up to the all-time high on this area okay so that's the trading configuration you can apply on easy to ethereum stop loss below yeah just in case it falls which is something that we don't want to see but it might happen and you enable the trading up which will let the bot to adjust like to follow the rally accordingly okay so that's how you can trade easy to ethereum for example you can also find other cryptocurrencies that are trading to uh, coins that you want to accumulate let's say you want to generate returns in bnb then you can find those cryptos that are trading to bnb um, is there anything trading to actually to bnb so you see you can generate returns in bitcoin in ethereum yeah you see cardano trading to bnb so if you want to accumulate returns in bnb find those cryptocurrency pairs that look solid right now that look that look like they are going to 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 appreciate yeah and stick with these strategies okay so basically if you anticipate the value of bnb to rise you want to generate as many bnbs as possible right so that's why it makes sense to find those cryptocurrency pairs that are trading to BNB, which will re result in the accumulation of BNB. And at the same time that these cryptocurrencies are in the upside momentum. And this will bring you a double return. The conservative strategy is basically trading to stable coins. Okay? So... We have many cryptocurrencies on each of the exchange that are trading to stable coins like USDT, TUSD, like Bitcoin, TUSD, which is another stable coin. There is also uh, BUSD. Okay, I think there is a PAX as well. So there are, I think, around five crypt like stable coins that I know for sure. So yeah, at least five stable coins. To which you can trade because why this strategy is um, a low risk strategy relative to a high yield strategy because the bot accumulates returns in usdt right and we know that the value of usdt is going to stay one dollar it's going to be one dollar tomorrow it's going to be one dollar the day after tomorrow yeah of course there are some internal risks related to the regulation of usdt and all that stuff but still you know that USDT value was $1 yesterday. It has the same value today and it's going to have the same value uh, tomorrow. All right. So that's why trading to USDT and or any other stable coin is a low risk strategy compared with trading to cryptocurrencies like BNB, Ethereum or Bitcoin. Okay. So that's the point here. Let me see what questions you have so far. And I'm going to select the most interesting ones to answer. Okay, so there is a question about the phase being priced in the grid step. So, basically, the point here is that when you see the grid step, like, for example, it's now 1.35%, that means that the fee is already priced in. And in reality, this space is not 1.35. It's, it's, it's somewhere around one point. Uh, 47 or something but we display the lower value for you because the fee is already priced in all right so otherwise you wouldn't be able to launch the bot if your fees would be higher than the grid step it's just impossible at bitscap automation regarding the uh, trailing up and stop loss combined of course, the stop loss in this case. Uh, what, what is that? What's the, what's the problem here? Why I cannot try? Yeah. So 
if you have your training up enabled and let's assume the price goes to that point your trading range is going to be around this area and the stop loss will also follow the uh, trading range and it will maintain the same gap it had at the very beginning okay the cool thing about beats gap is that like two months ago it was not possible to to drag your stop loss higher than the lower price now it's possible so what you can do when you see the market rally like you see that the trading range is now trading is like is, is located now higher than than it was before you can drag your stop loss to the high point which for some reason i'm not able to do right now but let's actually switch to the active trade that i have and i will show you exactly what i'm talking about here so let's enable a uh, stop loss so here it is yeah it takes time for the bot to download all of these trades depicted on the chart so you see I can drag my stop loss in the buy area so that's something that you can do with the stop loss when you see the training range uh, following the market rally okay by moving your stop loss higher you basically um, save more returns in case if the price falls from the current price okay so that's what it is about the stop loss with the trading up enabled what else do we have here so are there plans to make a bot that can short and follow bear market down well actually yes and we are about to announce that uh, we have this bot for you which is gonna follow the trend it's gonna be called a trend following bot so you can you will be able to trade uh, on the downfall and on the rising market so you can basically short sell and you can long the market but that's going to be something that we will discuss in coming weeks as we are about to launch this bot it's currently in the beta mode we are making final tests and final updates so uh, stay with us and you will be soon notified that we are about to launch the bot and okay so there is a question what if i already have a pair like link trading to ethereum and i have some link mm. will the bot ask to buy again at market for link so i'm not sure if i understand the question correctly but the point here is that at the time when you launch any bot like on any crypto let's say sky trading to bitcoin you see it always uh calculates the amount of the base currency required to set all of these limit sell orders and the amount of quote currency required to set all of these buy limit orders below the current price. But the point here is that it can be that you don't have Sky in your portfolio or BTC, okay? So once you click on start, it will automatically uh, ask you to buy the, the required amount of the base currency and you can do this fully automatically just by following the uh, bot suggestions so it just places the market buy order and it buys the required amount of this sky of course if you have let's say 100 skies already in your balance then of course for this bot it will just require you to buy missing 100 which you end up with 200 in total so it always takes into account the balance that you have. And another thing you have to know is that once you close the bot, and there are actually a few ways of how you can uh, exit the market. Let's say I want to exit, like I want to close ING trading to Bitcoin. And I have two options here, like either I can sell at the market price. So it just sells all of the base currency, which is currently um, stuck in this uh, trade. in like over here you see that's the amount of ing's right now in my sell limit orders so what i can do i can just 
close the bot by selling all of these ings and it will just cancel out all of the limit buy orders so it will sell all of the ing but the and like another option is to cancel only open orders so it just cancels sell and buy limit orders but it doesn't sell the base currency that i have which is right now 127 so if you choose this option as your exit method then what you have to remember is that 127 ings is going to stay in your balance and you will be still exposed to the um to the price fluctuation of ing all right so that's something for you to keep in mind always if you cancel the board with this option which is cancel all open orders it it doesn't buy it i mean it doesn't sell your base currency it just goes to your balance so what you can do you can close it with this option but then later make sure that you sell ings if you don't need them in your portfolio you just click on trading and here you select ings if you want to sell ings to bitcoin then select ing to bitcoin all right if you want to sell ing let's say to anything else then you can click here and you see all the options to which you can sell it to BUSD, USDT on BUSD. That's it's clearly up to you how you want to get rid of the base currency which is left. What if I want to change the grid number during the bot running? Is it possible and how? So now it's not possible because you cannot change the configuration of things like grid amount and grid step as the bot is running already though what you can do is you can always set the take profit or you can switch it off you can always set the stop loss if you forgot at the time you launch the bot and you can also disable the stop loss at any time you want same applies to the trading which for some reason i'm not able to ah. That's strange. Let's let's check once again. Yeah, you see, you can switch on and switch off trading whenever you want. So the only thing that you can configure is the take profit, stop loss, and trading up. And once again, the cool thing about Beats Gap is that some instruments can be uh, configured on the chart. So it really saves a lot of time for you. When I can drag my stop loss in any direction I want, that's cool. It saves a lot of time for me. Imagine how much time I would spend if I would manually open the active trade and I would go here and, okay, I forgot the price. Let's take a look. I want to have my stop loss at this price. I go back. I set it. You see, already around 20 seconds. Whereas by just simply dragging the line, this is like literally three seconds of my time. And as we know, time is money on the market. And that's why at BeatsGap, we always make sure that we add as many features as possible for you to um, minimize the amount of time you spend. Okay, so things like we have at trading mode here, like just, you see the balance? You see Aave, by clicking on Aave, you instantly get the list of cryptos to which you can sell it or buy it. Instead of manually going here and typing in Aave to see the list of cryptos to which you can sell it or buy it. Okay, so you see all these minor changes that we are constantly implementing. They are designed to boost your performance and to minimize the time you spend on the due diligence and decision making process. Okay. So hello, I don't understand grid levels, what we do. Okay, so um, in order to learn more about the grid strategy that we have at Beatscap, just go to a YouTube channel where I made the video for you, which is the five minute tutorial on how to launch the board. So basically it explains everything you need to know about uh, the grid levels, the, the grid step, the trading range, all in detail, all these things explained. So yeah, make sure you, you follow us on, on YouTube because I always make sure to add new videos for you guys to learn more about the strategies.
And by the way, regarding the strategies that you can use, go to Beatscap and open uh, Block. And here you have Automated Strategies. You say Part 1 and Part 2. So these are actually ready-made strategies that I made based on patterns formation that you can spot on the market. You see some patterns, they are crystally clear explained to you. And the exact configuration that you can follow based on this uh, strategy is also here provided for you. So if you've never traded uh, grid bots before, at least you can follow these strategies that I've made for you as a beginning. Okay, and when, once you realize how it all works, you can come up with your own strategies. And thanks to the demo mode, and thanks to other tools that we have, you can experiment as many, like, you can experiment uh, as long as you want. Okay, so this is a sandbox for you to come up with your best trading strategies. And you get the analytics, you see the daily return that the bot brings you. So you can compare returns with other crypto, like with other strategies that you have to see which one turned out to be the best. You can compare them in terms, in terms of the average daily return. You see this one 0 0.34, whereas ING is 2.67. Why is that? You just click on details to see what was the grid spacing for it? Okay, maybe this grid spacing is the optimal one for cryptocurrencies like ING, okay, to bring you the, the, like the highest possible return, okay? So you have, you have this analytics here to, to take advantage of, to, 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 to analyze your performance and to, come, like, to, to, to select your winners and compare your winners with your losers to find where are your weaknesses and where are your strengths okay yeah so what else we have here we have the recommended strategies which is something like let, let's switch back to the real mode yeah because we have more interest in the real money trading and here we have the recommended strategies based on the monthly performance, that's the past performance. So it turns out that Dent Trading to USDT was the top performer in terms of bot return during this monthly period. You can change it to weekly and to see what are the top cryptos of the last week. And you will find that's FIO and MTL. Okay, so that means that since the bot profit is so high here, that means that at least these cryptocurrencies, they are uh, tradable. That there is enough liquidity on the market. And that means that traders and investors are at least interested in this crypto. And that's something that we want. We want to say, like, we want to trade cryptocurrencies that are interesting for the market. Because when there is enough liquidity, that means that there is enough volatility. And volatility is something that bots need to buy low and sell high so the like the volatility is the food for the bot it basically provides the bot with opportunities to buy low and sell high intraday as many times as possible so you can see that some bots are able to make 100 200 tra trades on average per day just depending on the volatility of the crypto and of course this past result like past performance does not guarantee that next week is going to be the same, right? So because you know that past outcomes, they do not guarantee uh, future results. But at least we can use this matrix to, uh, to make anticipations, okay? So at least we can expect that Theo can make somewhat around this return. Maybe not next week, maybe within the period of next two weeks, all right? But it's definitely going to be more than 5% I assume during the next period of week and 5 weeks okay so yeah what you learned today is that uh, Beatscare bots are designed to accumulate returns in the quote currency which is the second crypto in the cryptocurrency pair regardless of the market trend so they can generate returns on the rising market on the sideways market 
and even on the falling market because even on the falling market there are always opportunities to buy low and sell high okay so there are market phases on the market like and we are interested in accumulation advancing and distribution for the accumulation and distribution we have the asbot that's the best one and for the advancing mode like advancing market phase we have classic bot okay which increases our risk exposure and basically increases our return when the market is in the rally you now know that there are different tools that you can use in technical analysis to define which crypto to trade which one is buy today and which one is sell today and that's depending on that you will select those cryptos that you want to trade once you've selected the crypto you want to trade the next step is to define the trading range grid levels and grid step the final step is to make sure that you have all the risk management well at least some risk management tools available like enabled as well as profit maximization instrument which is the training up right now also enabled okay uh, in order to practice more and to find your best strategy, make sure to trade in the demo mode, which is absolutely risk-free because that's the virtual money that you have here. Yeah, there are some minor differences between the demo mode uh, metrics and the uh, real market metrics, but still, the uh, trading here is is absolutely the same as in in real trading. Okay. It's just that you have virtual money here instead of real money, which is cool because you never lose what you really possess in your real life. And as soon as you come up with the best strategy that suits you the most, you can go to your real account to start trading with those configurations that have proven to be successful on the demo mode. There is also the tool known as the backtest, but you can learn more about the backtest in the tutorial that I made and you can find it on the YouTube as well. Okay, so these are the things that I wanted to cover today. So you now know that there are high yield and low risk strategies. High yield strategies is when you have the risk exposure to simultaneously to two cryptocurrencies like for example EASY and Ethereum. And low risk strategies when you are exposed to uh, the value change of only one crypto. For example, in this case, that's Bitcoin Cash. And that's it. We know that USDT is the crypto that the bot in which bot generates returns. And we know that USDT is going to be $1 tomorrow. It's going to be $1 the day after tomorrow. So that's not the risk for us. Okay. So that's the, the only difference between the high yield strategy and low risk strategy so what else um, the thing why you don't have uh, I mean the thing that you, why you see different results when you launch bot in demo mode compared with real bots and real account is that in real trading we uh, we deduct the fees they take yeah so I mean this is the real return here, what happens. Whereas in the demo mode, it's a bit different. Even in the back test, you see there are some conditions used, for example, one BC per order. Yeah, and some other things that taken into account and some not. But I mean, still, like what you have here in the back test in the, in, in the demo mode and the metrics that you have, they are still uh, pretty fair enough to uh, teach you on your mistakes and where are your strengths are okay so you can still use this data and of course we are working on the demo mode to make it even better in terms of metrics that it provides you with and the data transparency but still like the mode we have here is is fully packed with all the features and metrics that can teach you how to trade and to experiment with 
different strategies. By the way, one trick for you to use, if let's say you want to launch on one cryptocurrency pair, like on the same cryptocurrency pair, uh, several strategies. The thing here at BitScap is that, for example, on FIO trading to USDT, you can launch only one bot. But there is a trick. For example, you want to launch the bot on Bitcoin trading to, to USDT, and you know that you can only launch one bot on this cryptocurrency pair. The trick is to launch another configuration simultaneously, but not on BTC to USDT, but on Bitcoin to, let's say, another uh, stable coin, which is BUSD, which is pretty much the same as USDT. The, the difference is maybe in a couple of dollars, but still, it's pretty much the same cryptocurrency pair. BUSD and USDT is pretty much the same cryptocurrency pair, like 99.9% .9 it's the same cryptocurrency pair. And that's the trick for you. You launch the bot on BTC to USDT, and simultaneously you launch another configuration with different settings on BUSD. And now you can see, like you can monitor two strategies launched simultaneously and to see which configuration bit brings you the best results. Okay, so that's the trick for you that you can use. Yeah, so that's it basically for uh, today. I, I'm glad that we covered so many topics and now you are able, if you never traded, automated bots before that I'm like 99% sure that now you are able to launch your first bot and at least you have now new ideas how to boost your returns by applying the low risk strategy and the high yield strategy using available tools like trading up, take profit and stop loss to minimize the risk and to maximize your returns. To learn more about automated bots go to blog and there is a section about trading bots okay articles related that i made like the last of them made about different strategies that you can use tips and tricks trading up explained stop loss explained so everything is here and also go to the youtube where we have the tutorial and also uh, we have other webcasts where i explain other features like like for example, how to trade futures on BitScap and how to exit the market with other instruments that we have. These are, this is, by, by the way, is not the full package that we have. There are other options to exit the market, like at the break-even price. But since I don't have any bot in the negative zone right now, you see they are all positive. That's why I only have two options to exit, but if you see the change is negative, then there are three options to enter and exit. And the third option is exit with the break even. So all these things that are explained, uh, either you can find them in the blog or on YouTube. Okay. So yeah, thanks for your attention. I appreciate it. And I hope I answered many of your questions. It's not possible. For me since i'm the only one and the support my mate here in the chat box as well yeah so two of us but there are many of you and that's why it's ne never possible to answer all of your questions and if you have some questions unanswered then you can ask them here in the uh, support and you can also go to the telegram group chat there you can also ask your question and yeah just to remind you join the spring tournament because i guess already let's see uh new team members you see there are already 81 of us in the beats gap team so the more enters the competition the higher chances for us all together all efforts combined to get ranked in the top 10. there are individual rewards for those there are top performers of the day and there are team rewards and there are also vote rewards so you can actually vote for Beatscap if you think the Beatscap is the one who's gonna take the place in the list of top 10 and if you are right and I bet that it is because yeah I have serious intentions that we can make it happen top 10 I guess like for us and we already proven 
the success. Like the, the last time we participated, we made the ninth place in the tournament. So that's definitely possible for us, guys. So read more about it. You can actually find it in the blog as well. Let's see, like all information you need to know. Other rules, they are here on the main page. So yeah, join Beats Gap. And together we can make it happen. So once again, thanks a lot. I appreciate um, Really love to host this webcast. And next time, it's going to be next Thursday, I hope to bring you more useful cases, tips and tricks on how to boost your performance. Okay? So once again, uh, cheers, guys. I wish you profitable trading. Stay strong. Stay safe. Apply adequate risk management tools and principles. And together we can beat the market. Yeah. So see you.